Hi friends, I have purchased a MacBook Air M1 quite recently. This video is all about its unboxing and basic setup. So let's get started. I have purchased this product from Amazon. When you purchase a laptop from Amazon, you will basically get a big package. This package is a little crappy, but it is all intended to keep your laptop or electrical items safe inside and once you open up that big crappy packet you will get another small package with the macbook air m1 inside so this is also not the package of apple this is again a cardboard based package you can see the basic information about the un universal code for such products you will also get to see some other information related to uh, the item inside such as the manufacturer uh, basic MRP and so on the offer price is not included over here and when you open it up you will find the package of Apple MacBook Air M1 inside this is quite a beautiful looking laptop you will definitely be impressed by its all sleek design you can also see the basic information about the manufacturer you can see the logo of apple other information related to the products and so on now let's open up this plastic wrap this is the macbook air official package of apple and let's open up the top cover and once you open up the top cover you will see the macbook air inside and you can see it is again covered in plastic wrapping in the first look even though this is a space gray version of macbook air one may wonder it is a silver one or not but when you compare gray with the silver version of macbook air you will definitely feel the difference apple also provides a bit of information in the form of quick start gates and safety instructions and so on you will also get apple stickers gray version and now let's open up the macbook air you can easily peel off the plastic the package also consists of a 30 watt charger and a USB C to C cable. And now let's open up the MacBook Air M1. Once you open up the MacBook Air M1, you can again see the screen is protected using uh, a cloth like material. Once you open up the screen, the screen will display the welcome message uh, and so on. Now let's go through different steps in setting it up. The first step is selecting your language. The different languages are available and you can choose the suitable language. Next step is the selection of the country. The third step is about uh, setting the written and spoken languages. You can see the keyboard and so on. The fourth is about you can basically enable vision or hearing or cognitive related configurations. It is an optional step. Step five is to configure your Wi-Fi. You can basically connect your laptop to the Wi-Fi. Step six is a migration assistant. So this is an important step. If you have a previous Mac or a Windows machine, you can actually uh, migrate your data to the no, uh, new MacBook. This is also an optional step. If you do not prefer to backup uh, your previous storage, you can leave this option and move on to the next one. The next step is you can sign in with your Apple ID. You need to use your, I mean, if you have used an iPhone or an iPad, you will definitely have your Apple ID. So once you sign in, if the two factor authentication is turned on, you will definitely get a code in one of your other Apple devices. So you can enter your code on the MacBook Air and you can proceed as usual, just like you do on an iPhone or an iPad. You can agree the terms and conditions and click on continue. And in case if you don't have an Apple ID, you can create uh, a new Apple ID as well and proceed further. Now, step eight is creating a computer account. This is just like creating a computer account on Windows. 
for the login purposes and so on so you you can basically enter your name account name uh, set a password you can create a hint about your password and so on and proceed further your then your computer account will get created in the system step 9 is enabling location services siri and so on there are other custom settings also you can uh, enable from this uh, step and those are purely optional and once you're done with that you can pr uh, press continue and move to step 10 which is basically file vault disk encryption step so here you can specify whether you want to uh, enable turn on the file vault disk encryption or not and also there is a provision for you to configure whether you want to allow your icloud accounts to unlock your disk now step 11 is about enabling the touch id there is a physical button on your keyboard for you to access your fingerprints so you can place your finger on the button in multiple directions it will then create your touch id in the system those are the basic configurations that you will have to make before you start using your new macbook air if you have done this on a macbook pro it would be similar steps in nature there are a lot of custom options custom settings that you can configure you can do all those custom configurations within the settings you can open general settings privacy settings notification settings sound and many more and you can also see your serial number of your macbook just in case if you want to and want to verify this is a genuine apple product you can basically copy the serial number and go to the apple's website and you can clearly check whether this is a genuine product or not in fact for most of the products of apple if it is in genuine it can be easily find out if you have an iphone you can also use your iphone as an external camera to your attached to your macbook air so that would be helpful for video calls and so on because the iphone camera is so much better than the integrated camera in the macbook air all right folks that was the video about the unboxing of macbook air m1 and its quick basic setup thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to this channel for similar sort of a content and you all have a nice day ahead